Hey everyone, this is Paul, and welcome to Common Touch of Fantasy. Today we're going to be reviewing a book. It is um, The Human Division by John Scalzi. It is book number five in the Old Man's War series. I gave this book a five out of five. I enjoyed it very much. I loved it. This story is a sci-fi space opera with multiple short story-like segments. I gave the plot a four, the characters a four, the setting a four, the writing style I gave it 5, and the heart and mind aspect I gave it 4, with a total score of 21 out of 25. The short summary of The Human Division is that many things have happened during this series, and I don't want to give away too many spoilers of the previous books in the series, but let's just say that the Colonial Defense Force, which is the main force that protects the human race in the galaxies, is kind of on the back foot. It is struggling quite a bit. The CDF now relies more on the relationships between the other alien races and uses diplomats and diplomatic negotiations to really um, get their way in certain dealings. Where before they would just shoot a bunch of people, now they're actually talking to people. Mostly the story follows a diplomatic team. They're called the B Team. The B teams consisted of Harry Wilson, someone that most Old Man's War um, readers will know. Also, a guy named Hart Schmidt, which is Wilson's right-hand man. And the ambassador, the actual diplomat, her name is called Abumwe. The reason why this team is so important is that they're the best at thinking on their feet and stopping inter-galaxy incidents from becoming these massive confrontations. They find themselves in these situations that require their cunning to try to navigate and to get out of. Also, there are other stories going on that talks about the unfortunate things happening to different types of people in the galaxy that is related to the overall story. All right, so why would you like this book? The Human Division really showcases John Scalzi's ability to create a narrative from many multiple different parts to form one whole large narrative. This book is a summation of all the digital serials that were released in ebook format. There are 13 different uh, digital serial episodes. Each one of these digital serial episodes had its own story. And each episode didn't really build on the episode before, but it built on a larger story that was happening. It's the ability of Scalzi to write these individual stories but also have them connected is really great. He's able to create strong individual stories, none of them actually being worse than any others, but having them seamlessly blend together to create this larger overarching story that is so satisfying to read. The Old Man's War series is full of humor, and the Human Division is probably the funniest one out of all of them. I laughed out loud multiple times while reading this book. Once again, I read the audio book, I listened to it, William DeFries was the narrator, he did an amazing job, and he delivers Scalzi's sarcasm and Scalzi's upbeat humor was such poise and just perfect timing. He's so good. And a lot of the humor is associated with Harry Wilson and his partner, um, Hart Schmidt. And their relationship, their friendship is very entertaining. And it's just so much fun to read. I, th this might be one of my favorite duos in... Uh, science fiction right now. It's They're just awesome. They're so funny to read about. They like jostle and joke with each other. And even during times of like danger or important um, diplomatic situations, they're like going back and forth at each other. It's just so much fun. You know, don't let the humor fool you though. There's a lot of technical aspects in this book. Much more than any other Old Man's War book before this because of Harry Wilson. Harry Wilson is a technology expert. He is an officer for the CDF that specializes in technology. So Scalzi is taking us in different 
places in this book that really focuses on Harry's ability to get them out of situations that um, are caused by technical issues, technical mistakes, um, technical problems, and it really shows Scrawls writing things that are much different than the previous books, but just as much exciting as the others. Also, the political climate that's going on during this book is a lot of fun to read and dissect and try to figure out. I really enjoyed the political aspects of this book, and they're probably the highest point in the entire series during this book. And at times, you might not really understand what's going on, but once you read a little bit more, you understand, oh yeah, so that's what's going on. This is what these people are all about. This is what is happening right now. And this side is doing this, and that side is doing that. And I think that's a lot of fun to read about. Okay, you might not like this book if you're looking for a book that is exactly like the other Old Man's War books. Especially if you are a John Perry lover, and you just don't like the idea of an Old Man's War book without John Perry, you might have a little bit of an issue with this one, because Harry Wilson is the main character. I really like Harry Wilson as a character. He is just as important to me as John Perry is now. If you don't really care for Harry Wilson's character when you read this book, you might not really like this book as much as the previous Old Man's War books. Also, this isn't as approachable as the other books. Um, the technical language is a little bit more um, difficult, and the narrative is a little bit more complex. Um, there's a lot more weaving, and there's a lot more um, political aspects and subtleties that aren't really there in the previous books, but it's not really a difficult read. It's just something that I wanted to address and say, you know, it isn't as lighthearted as some of the previous books. It's you have to use your brain a little bit more. So this is my review of The Human Division by John Scalzi. I highly recommend this book and I highly recommend the Old Man's War series. This is a series that people that don't read science fiction should read. This is one that's very approachable, it's very easy to get into these books, enjoy them. So if you're not a big science fiction book fan, or you haven't read many, I would suggest trying these books out. Thanks for watching. Please comment below if you read this book or if you want to talk about this book further. Uh, let me know what you're reading. Um, like this video and please subscribe. Thank you for watching.